welcome back to kids welcome back to yet another video in this video we are going to combine led and buzzer circuit to make one single circuit if you have watched the previous videos you have seen that we have made a led circuit and a buzzer circuit differently so if you haven't watched those videos please pause this video and go check it out now without wasting any further of our time let's dig into the video so we'll start by click on new click on circuit then we are going to take our breadboard okay we are going to take our breadboard we are going to take our batteries i'll just rotate the batteries using this rotate feature i'll increase the number of batteries to 4 okay i have increased the number of batteries to 4 now what i'm going to do is connect the positive terminal to positive side negative terminal to this pin now i'll change the colors negative terminal to black positive terminal to red now this pins are now positive terminals of the batteries and this pins are negative terminals now i'm going to take my led now using the rotate feature i'll rotate it place it here okay it is mounted now what i'm going to do is i'll be using our buzzer next i'll take the buzzer i'll put it here okay now what we are going to do is since in the last videos if you have seen when we have supplied more power to led it blows so what we are going to do is we'll take our resistors and change the resistance to 30000 kilo ohms okay now we'll just rotate it we will take the resistors and plug it here now we are just going to give connections to our buzzer and led i'll take the positive connections first i'll give my positive connection to the buzzer first then positive connection to our led okay now i'm going to change the color of wire to black to give negative connection i'll just take this connect it here okay now we are going to give negative connection to our battery now i guess you have seen that i made a mistake we'll just connect it down we can just click it and pull it down okay so this is our connections now let's see what happens when we simulate it now see i am going to simulate it as you can see the buzzer is making sound but the led has broke as you can see current through led is 485 milliamps while absolute maximum is uh, 20 milliamps now what we do is we can either increase the resistance or decrease the power supply firstly we'll decrease the power supply we'll take three batteries instead of four now let's see what happens when i simulate it once again now as you can see the buzzer is still making sound but the led has broke now what we can do as i said earlier we can either increase our resistance or decrease the power supply now i will just going to stop the simulation what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take one battery instead of three and i'll uh, keep the resistance as only 1000 ohms so i'll just start the simulation now i hope you can see the buzzer is making a sound okay the sound is very low because we have used very less power supply now i think you can note the difference that it is blowing so i'll just pause the simulation and then restart the simulation now as you can see the color has changed indicating the led is glowing so this is our new circuit that we have made using the led and buzzer at the same time thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe